Welcome to Spark Systems. Spark Systems acknowledges the importance of architecture governance in an enterprise architecture management practice, and we've focused on enhancing our offering to meet the evolving needs of the architecture community. Subscribe to get the latest updates from Spark Systems. Stay informed on the newest features, tutorials, and tips to make the most of your architecture tools. Enterprise Architect from Spark Systems enables various controls, processes, and guidance for architecture governance. It supports end-to-end -end governance, including content governance based on metamodel conformance, defining governance processes and controls, and managing SLAs. With comprehensive change management, teams can model and manage architecture evolution and structured architecture reviews, help with continuous improvements. Enterprise Architect assists teams in configuring the tool to implement critical architecture use cases and answer key business queries. This includes built-in validation and guidance, allowing architects to create models that conform to the intended metamodel. A metamodel definition within Enterprise Architect provides a framework for utilizing a selected subset of a standard to address specific architecture use cases. This metamodel can be extended to accommodate evolving needs. It outlines the available assets, their attributes, and allowable connectors, which can be translated into tool configuration. This ensures teams conform to the selected metamodel while providing a simple, focused user interface. Let's compare working with the out-of-the-box Archimate standard versus a focused metamodel-based configuration. Using an Archimate diagram exposes all the options the standard prescribes, requiring more caution from the architect. In contrast, a configuration based on a metamodel guides users to select the correct connections and attributes and validates these selections. Enterprise Architect supports detailed definitions of governance processes, enabling teams to identify, manage, and audit architectural information. The governance framework allows teams to model the hierarchical breakdown of the governance process, providing a standard reference for collaboration. For example, the compliance process outlines how design authority and architecture teams are expected to operate during architecture development. Enterprise Architect provides robust support through various tools, enabling architects to systematically manage and control changes to enterprise architecture. This ensures that changes are aligned with strategic goals, reviewed by stakeholders, and systematically implemented before finalizing the architecture. Enterprise Architect supports multiple techniques for change management. One option is to model the current state, future state, and transition states in the same repository. Architects can regularly compare versions before finalizing the architecture, ensuring systematic evolution. This option leverages Enterprise Architect's time-aware modeling feature, where architects can create a new version of a design and update relevant parts without affecting the original. All versions coexist in the same repository, allowing parallel tracking of changes.
The second option is to model the current, future, and transition states as separate branches. This approach is useful when R&D teams need to work on separate versions over time before comparing and merging changes. This method utilizes the reusable asset service feature in Enterprise Architect, allowing architects to create a branch of the architecture repository as a new version. This ensures systematic development with versions existing in different repository branches. The architects can compare and merge changes anytime using the diff merge capabilities. Enterprise Architect also helps teams set up architecture review board roles, ensuring alignment of programs, projects, and solutions with the overall architecture. Hierarchical review roles can be defined and implemented as personas within the tool, with users added automatically through federated authentication membership. Architecture reviews play a vital role in effective model governance allowing stakeholders to monitor an architecture's effectiveness, alignment with business goals, and compliance with standards. Reviews can be set up by selecting artifacts, defining a gated timeline, and assigning participants. For instance, the Design Authority team might be selected to review and approve the Q3 review. Once the review is added to the moderator's dashboard, they can monitor reviewers' actions and get a comprehensive view of the review's progress. Reviewers receive email and app notifications, inviting them to participate in the review. The review dashboard provides various views of the artifacts under review, encouraging collaboration. It also tracks reviewers' comments, and they can tag architects or other reviewers in discussions. Tagging prompts the tagged user to respond to feedback. The architect can then update the design and notify the reviewer through the same portal. Reviewers can compare the design with other variations to make informed decisions. As the review deadline approaches, participants receive reminder emails, allowing them to access their dashboard and complete the review quickly. Moderators can track the entire process from their dashboard at any time. Reviewers can also leverage AI capabilities to get quick summaries of conversations and draft responses. The AI agent summarizes discussions, offering a clear perspective for the user. In summary, Sparks Systems Enterprise Architect offers comprehensive tools and techniques to enable sophisticated architecture governance, assisting architects in designing and managing enterprise architecture practices efficiently. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out for further assistance. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more tutorials from Sparks Systems.